Right, new van day here at Transport HQ. Brand new, unregistered. Shows it's a 70 plate, but it can't be registered yet because the 70 plate doesn't come out for a few days. T6.1 start line. First of all, to get you hooked, why is it here? Well, think a thousand brake horse of Tesla power. A while ago, I had this idea that I wanted to make an electric transporter. So initially the plan was get hold of an early T5 because um, it'd be cheap. Probably make it look like a T6.1 speak to the right people, rip the engine out, put some electric power in, see if we can make something that was relatively quick um, and see what happened from there. And after talking to a few people and mentioning it to uh, a bunch of people in the industry, they were all really excited by the idea and thought, well, if we're going to do it, let's do it properly. If we're going to do it to a T5, we've then got to look at changing the engineering to do a T6 and a T6.1. So instead, start off with a brand new T6.1. And hopefully, if we can do it to a T6.1, it should be easier to then work back. But we'll figure this out along the way. Hopefully, we're going to get a thousand brake horse out of this. I say that, it could go horribly wrong. And this could be a really expensive mistake. But equally, if it works, it'll be amazing. So what's the plan? The plan is to make this van stupidly quick. We're talking Tesla motors, we're talking twin motors, loads of batteries, loads of power, keeping it underway, hopefully trying to break some world records along the way, commercial speed records or quarter mile records or something. We'll figure that out as we go along. First of all, we need to get this thing to have some electric power. Um, so when we decided we were going to do it, first thing I did was get on the phone to my mate Alex Burton at uh, Listers of EW and explain what I was looking for. So the brief was short wheelbase, needed to have a tailgate, needed to be start line because we love our commercial bumpers here. We still think it's the best look of a T6.1 and it had to have aircon because we needed to make sure we can make these work with the aircon. Other than that, there wasn't anything particularly important. Uh, we weren't bothered what it was. This is actually a T28, so it limits the amount of weight we've got to work with, but we've done our calculations and by the time we've ripped the engine out, the gearbox out, the cooling system, the exhaust system, we think there's going to be plenty of um, room for uh, and space and um, the ability to carry the weight we need to make this thing quick. Like I said, we're aiming for a thousand brake horse. Whether we actually get there or not is a different story. Whether we even get this thing running after we've taken the engine out is another story, but I'm sure we will because we've got to because it'll be a really expensive mistake so yeah we've just taken delivery of this this morning it was literally dropped off just as i arrived so it shows on the 70 plate but i don't think it'll ever go on that plate because we'll stick some electric vehicle related number plate on it i'm sure internally basic start line other than like i said it's got the business pack which i believe is aircon and rear parking sensors this one is silver although as with everything we do this will go off to Steve at Loughborough Paintworks at some point and have some sort of radical colour change. I've got an idea of something that I want to go with, but I don't know, we'll see. That might change along the way. If you've got any suggestions on what colour you think an electric vehicle should be, please comment below um, and we'll take everything into consideration. So this is just one episode really just to get you hooked really, get you to subscribe, um, which you should know how to do by now, but uh, on your iPhone, go to subscribe and then uh, click the little bell to get your notifications to let you know when we release a new video. So this uh, is the first episode, second episode we'll see us. We've got some corner scales coming in so we're going to weigh this thing as it stands, um, how it's been delivered. Next up it will go into the workshop and Mikey will take everything out that we need to take out. So like I said, engine, gearbox, exhaust system, cooling system, um, fuel tank a whole lot take it all out and then we'll get it back on the corner scales and see how much weight we've got to work with after that um, the guys that we're working with that um, are well, they know their stuff they do all the top gear stuff if you've seen any of top gears electric conversion vehicles these are the guys that's these are the guys that have done it but I'll go into more detail about them and what they do in a future episode they're going to come and laser scan the underside of the vehicle so clever bit of kit i believe that scans the whole underside because the idea is we're trying to make everything on this vehicle under slung so um, motors will go underneath batteries will all go underneath hopefully allowing us to retain all the storage space in the rear and also maybe turn the engine bay into a frunk i think they call them a front trunk like a porsche has but we'll see make it a usable space um, and from there yeah start working out where motors and batteries are going to go and try and get it all working and all talking and work with a canvas and make sure that everything that's on this van now still works but electric so obviously trying to make something that's a thousand brake horse isn't going to have a particularly good range but 
the idea is we if we if we know we can get that far or close to a thousand brake course and make something that's stupidly quick we've just got to wind it down and give it range and make it affordable so if we can this will be the tester really if we can make it work with this we're then hoping to look at offering the opportunity for people to have their vehicles converted to something that has a decent range and is electric so i'll just show you quickly around the van but just 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 a plain van so yeah start line silver now but sure to have a color change some sexy wheels definitely going on there at some point something nice and light uh, Bill Steiner are going to be working with this to create suspension that's suited for electric vehicles and the way that uh, they will sit with where the weight, the weight is set out so that'll be that'll feature in another episode and um, we've got lots of big players on board like I said Lister's VW have really helped us out with this one sorted us out a special price and uh, I'm sure they'll be following the journey uh, inside air car other than that fairly basic 51 miles on the clock if you can see there so brand spanking new. So we think the market for electric commercial vehicles, especially this kind of scene, the whole camper scene, is potentially huge for a few reasons. One, what's coming out from VW and ABT in the, um, in the future or is out soon doesn't really have the range that I think would suit camper conversions and people wanting to travel throughout the country. Uh, and also they're quite a lot more expensive. So. We yet don't know how much it's going to cost to, to make these things um, a viable option to convert them to electric, but we'll discover on the way. It might turn out to be far too much money and not something that um, we can offer, but you don't know till you try. But what better market to have electric motors? Um, I mean, the idea of being able to have a decent enough range to get down to Cornwall and sit on your electric hookup for a week while you're on holiday and slowly trickle charge your power back in again. Um, seems perfect doesn't it and also commercial vehicles delivery guys if we can get all this under slung if we think we can use the the tester system that we hope to use it should be relatively affordable uh, and also allow you to still have all the room in the back and still have the weight capacity that you need to be able to carry your amazon deliveries and transport hq deliveries and everything else that's needed for a, for a courier company but yeah so um we'll see how it goes we'll film mikey stripping the engine out um then the scanning and then the work we're going to do with the, the guys to make this thing electric and uh, it's going to be long and challenging but it should be fun and then hopefully from that we can film a few other parts of the way or the other processes like the, the colour change, the wheel change, the suspension and then hopefully like I said try and break some world records with this along the way, that would be a goal but we'll see, fingers crossed it works, make sure you like uh, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so you get the notifications uh, and keep watching.